This form factor of the development boards with the OLED display integrated on top of this is right now my favorite kind of the development boards. Those are ESP32, you can see one over here and one over here, but I'm not talking only about the ESP32. Everything that from factory has the OLED installed on top, all the LCD or anything else is just better because it gives you a nice visual display of what, of what your device is doing. And also, they are kind of cheap and nice, they have a very serious problem because those OLED displays over here are, well, not really protected and I can't really remember how many of those boards I lost only because I pressed over here on the glass and broke some of the wires in the flat cable from the ESP to the OLED. And as a result, the boards end up like that. You see, I just have to remove the OLED because, well, if the OLED is broken, is there even sense to keep it? And after I realized that in the last year I at least broke four boards like that, I think it's time for me to show with you and share my tip of how to fix this specific problem. And the specific problem can be fixed relatively easily with the epoxy glue. What's the solution? The solution is relatively simple. You see, this board, this OLED screen, I just applied some of the epoxy glue over here on the external edges of the grass. If you look carefully, you will see that this OLED is even already chipped, but luckily the, the traces, the, the cable is intact, so the display still works. How, oh, it's not working right now. Interesting. However, if not the fact that it was protected, I would have to throw it out a long time ago. You see, it's working Alta with chips. The same happened in this board, covered with the epoxy glue over here, and it's safe. And now, in the next part of this video, I will just show you on how to do it, because I have to do it on currently one, two, three devices, so let's just share the experience. Step one is to prepare the epoxy glue. I'm using the epoxy pole because this is what I have at hand and you can actually use any kind of the epoxy glue you have access to. So just do exactly what the manual says. Apply some of the both of the components of the epoxy and the hardener. Mix it evenly and when you mix it, we will continue. Epoxy ready. Actually, the thinner the epoxy, the better, but even if it's thick, it's not really a big problem. And after you have the glue, just apply the glue on the outsides of the OLED. Do not apply the glue on the OLED because, well, that will make it um, equally destroyed as breaking the, the chip, but you should know what I mean. The most important place is over here on the side where the cable enters actually the OLED driver because this is the place when it got destroyed more often. You do not have to apply much of the glue, just enough to slightly reinforce the edges. So, the glass is not only protected by, well, itself, but only by the glue. And you see a thin layer like that is more than enough. And that's all. After the glue hardens, your boards have at least a higher chance of surviving the abuse you might put them to in your well, semi-permanent troll. So, not only a development board, but also something that might at least have a chance of surviving in the wild. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.